again, working with comp arithmetic compositions of functions. We've got f divided by g of x, and as we've seen before, we simply replace these with f of x for our f functions, and we're dividing that by, now, g of x. And as we've seen before, we're still working with f of x equals x plus 1, g of x is equal to x minus 1. So I'm going to take and insert my function for f of x, which is x plus 1, divided by my g of x, which is x minus 1. At this point, since we're simplified, we're good to go. The other thing that we need to take into consideration is domain. And we're asking ourselves over what interval or what values of x are or will this function be defined. Again, we will have an undefined situation if our denominator is ever equal to zero. To test if it can be, we set the denominator x minus 1 equal to zero and we find by adding 1 to both sides that when x equals 1, we have a denominator of zero. Again, that can't happen. It leaves us with an undefined uh, situation. So the domain for this function is that x simply cannot be equal to a positive 1. 